In this video, I'll show you how to test two signals of a Mercedes key, which are radio and infrared. I made this video as easy as possible for you guys, so you can test the key when you suspect something is not working. This video is divided into two parts. The first part is where I would test radio signal, and the second one will be infrared signal. Here I have already connected the vehicle with Sentry, Mercedes diagnostic software. Then I'll choose N73, which is the ignition switch module. Wait for the software to load and click continue. Now I'll choose special procedures tab. Then I'll choose guided test of transmission key. Click continue. You can see the test prerequisite here. We tell you to remove the key from the ignition switch N73. Then they ask you whether you have a second key. In my case, I don't have a second one available, so my answer is no. Now, to begin the test procedure, they tell you to press button lock on your key. I'll press the key now and at the same time pay my attention to the value here to see if it will change. So you see the number go up from 36 to 42. Therefore, you can answer this question here as yes, the value change. The next step in this procedure, they insist you to press unlock on your key, so go ahead and press it. Again, same questions. Does the value change? It does, so click yes. Click continue on this German text window, and so does the second one. Finally, this is the test result window. As you can see the final answer is here. There is no fault in the component, radio signal received. Therefore, and the test. So this is the first part of this video where we tested the radio signal of the key. Now we will continue to the second part which is testing our infrared signal. We will have to shut the radio signal down so there is only one signal available when we do the test which is infrared signal. I'll pull out the radio amplifier fuse so the power to this amplifier is interrupted. For your understanding I press the key now and you will definitely see nothing happen because the radio signal is already been cut off. Now I'll stand close to the door handle and press the key. You will see the car is locked and unlocked. This is our infrared signal. Now we will use Sentry to test this signal following Mercedes procedure. To test infrared signal, we will need to access driver front door control module N69 slash 1. Click continue, same step, choose actual value tab, then choose infrared receiver. Pay attention to this value on the right. Now I press lock and unlock on the key. Your job is to pay attention to this item, infrared signal from valid key. You can see the value change and that means our infrared signal is good for that particular feature. Now we will test the convenience feature. Let's test it by holding down the lock and unlock button. As you can see, the values change and our window roll up and down. This also means that our infrared signal in this case is good, perfectly working. So this is how you can test the two signals to know what problem you might have when key simply doesn't work, but the battery still has power. Now without Sentry, I'll give you a bonus way to test the same thing. Using oscilloscope, we can catch the signal from the signal amplifier sent to rear sam. So if we can see waveform when pressing the key, it means the signal is good. Let's take a look at this diagram to better understand the system. You can see signal amplifier A2 slash 18 send signal to the rear sam M10 slash 2 via this orange wire. So, I'll backprop this orange wire to my oscilloscope as well as my multimeter so you can see both waveform and signal but for your case, you will only need one too. I'll press the key now and see what we got. Obviously, when I press the key, there is waveform on my oscilloscope and a voltage drop on my multimeter. The waveform and voltage drop signify that we do have signal sending from the amplifier to rear 
so our system is working properly all right so that's it for this video that's how you can measure two Mercedes key signals you can use sentry or oscilloscope or just simply a multimeter if you want to see how I use the exact method and procedure to fix a Mercedes that has a failing key you can watch this video right here on the screen